what is philosophy? That is a question every introduction of philosophy course deals with, and this is no different. It's easy to provide an answer. There are many answers that have been provided in many textbooks and by every philosophy instructor and most philosophy books on the topic. And I'll start by giving you one. Philosophy is the most critical and comprehensive method of thinking devised by human beings. Saying that, however, really doesn't answer the question if what you seek is an understanding of what philosophy is. There's a Chinese expression. I hear, then I forget. I see, I remember. I do, then I understand. If understanding is the goal, then just hearing someone like myself say what it is, or seeing an explanation printed in text will probably not suffice. Given examples of how philosophers have thought about some of the most basic questions humans have ever faced is probably a better guide to understanding and entering yourself into an exercise or two or three where you attempt to enter into that method, which Plato called dialectical thinking, will probably give you a better understanding of philosophy than any other approach to that goal. Philosophy. It's a discipline of the mind that looks into, as I said, the most basic questions. Wherever you start with another question, if you are that curious and provoked and have a sense of wonder about you to keep going, ultimately there'll be the questions of what is knowledge, what is truth, what is beauty, what is goodness, what is the moral good, what is the best order for society, and how do we know what we claim to know at all, and perhaps even what is real. Are we free? Do we have souls? Is there a God? All of these come into the domain of philosophical inquiry. And that's what it is, a type of inquiry that a community has entered into and a community still exists pursuing this type of thought about the very same topics. They're called perennial issues because they repeat themselves year after year, century after century, millennia after millennia. We go back 2,500 years in recordings of people's thoughts that indicate, yes, humans have been interested in these sorts of questions and their answers. So what is philosophy? It's a very interesting question in itself and perhaps the only question where the question is in the discipline. What is chemistry? What is biology? What is art? are not in those domains. But what is philosophy? It lies in the domain of philosophy. The sort of questions that philosophers pursue distinguish the major branches of philosophy. One of the most, may I, perhaps uncommon to most people, is metaphysics. What is real and what is not real? Although the question will come up in everyday life when people wonder about souls, ghosts, and whatnot. Are they real or are not real? Is there another reality beyond that of the physical realm that we experience every day? Metaphysics is the question, what is real? What does reality consist of? What makes something real? What do all real things share in that make them real? Then there is epistemology. Maybe that's not a question for everyday examination. Uh, what is it to know something? But people do wonder, how do I know that that's true? And the question of how do I know what I know, or how do I know anything, or when we claim to know we sometimes make mistakes, so how do I know from when I'm just believing, or hoping, or guessing? That is a topic philosophers pursue in epistemology. There's logic, which attempts to guide our thinking in a very careful way so that we do not make mistakes. When we go from one set of ideas to drawing a conclusion from them, that's logic. Then there's ethics about morality and what is the basis of the good. Not the list of rules, no, or commandments, but what is the basis for drawing up those rules, the principle of the good. We also have social philosophy, which raises the question of how do we distribute the goods and services in society, perhaps in the most just or fair manner. How are we to go about doing it in the best way? And there's political philosophy. Who has the power to answer that question and enforce it? There are other key issues that arise from century to century, and among them are the question of whether or not we are free. 
whether or not life has a meaning, a single meaning, many meanings, where is the source of meaning for human life and its value? These are questions philosophers pursue and tied up with the meaning of philosophy, I suppose, and help to illustrate the sort of things philosophers take up to give some kind of a clue as to the answer. What is philosophy? What does it evolve with? And how to go about it? It would be a mistake to think that philosophy were just a set of ideas that philosophers have produced over many, many centuries. The key is to look under those answers to the method of thought that produced them. That is it. Philosophy is a method of thinking, a methodology, as well as what that method produces. Hopefully, in pursuing a course of studies, reading a textbook on the nature of philosophy, you'll come to understand better with illustrations of just what philosophy involves.